So the biggest in-game event is happening right now. It is bigger than the Squad Cups. It is bigger than the Cash Cup. It is even bigger than the World Cup. What I'm talking about, I'm talking about the Fishing Friendly. Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy, I'm Nick Arg here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day or a nice so far. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can win the Fishing Frenzy game mode just like that. That snap was pretty loud actually, I'm not going to lie. And also, along with this event, it brought this skin called the Trigger Fist skin. Just a reminder, if you guys are going to pick it up and you want to support me, my code is Omnicarg with no spaces. I want to give a major thank you to my man, Yusef, Christian, and Fizz. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. If you guys want to join these beautiful people and use my code, like I said, it is Omnicarg with no spaces. But with that said, let's get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so first off, if you don't know what the event actually is, I'm going to go over that briefly real quick. So basically what it is, is an in-game fishing event where you can actually earn in-game rewards like pickaxes, sprays, but you can also, if you score a top tier in this event, you can earn rewards outside the game. Like for instance, if whoever catches the most fish in a single match throughout the competition, they'll be rewarded an engraved llama trophy, like in person. This is sick. So even if you're not interested, just do it. Trust me, I'm going to explain all the rewards and how you can actually get them nice and easy. So let's go over each topic. So the first one is top angler. Catch the most fish in a single match during the competition. How you can actually get this and possibly win this is simply go on the edge of the map. That's what I suggest you guys do. Go on the very edge of the map and find a place where there's a fishing rod and also a boat. If you guys want to land where I land, I'll show it on screen right now once again. I landed there. There was easy fishing rods. There was a few weapons in case some people tried to kill me and also there was a nice fresh boat and also with this method in mind or basically any method that you use makes you guys do this if there is an end game situation like this on screen right now where there is no rivers in the circle what you guys want to do is go to a river that is nearby who cares that's in the storm it doesn't matter you have all these floppers with you from this whole process and then just fish keep fishing floppers add the water keep eating them you'll be gaining 50 health every time you do it and then just keep fishing them out fishing them out basically unlimited fish unlimited health it's a great method and I suggest you guys land somewhere that has a river next to us, such as the bottom right part of the map, because sadly, I wasn't able to land at a good place. I had to go on boat the whole entire way across the map. It was not a fun experience, but it was a learning experience at the same time. So let's get right into the next one. That is going to be the small fry champion. What you got to do is catch the most small fry during the competition. If you guys don't know what a small fry is, it's basically, it's not the fish that you get in the Ripley's. It's just the fish that if you cast randomly in the water and you'll get it, it generates five health, if that helps. And with this, you can find small fries anywhere, in a little pond, in a river, across the ocean, even on the sides of the map, anything like that, you'll be able to find a small fry, except for the Ripley's and Bubbles in the water, and you'll be greatly fine. The next competition is the Flopper Champion. What you guys want to do is obviously catch the most floppers in a single match. You can use the first method I showed you, and it'll work nice and easy. Next one is the Swordfish Champion. This one's going to be a tiny bit hard, because they're a tiny bit more rarer than the Flopper. So just use the method I showed you, or you can just use anything like that, but you you have to find them in the Ripley's. If not, you're not going to find the swordfish. And that's probably a challenge I'm not going to be doing, but if you think it's easy, make sure you do it because most people are probably going to be like me and saying, you know what, it's too rare, I'd rather focus on something else. But if you focus on that, you can snag that reward up nice and easy and be top on the leaderboard. But let's get right into the next one. This is a very interesting one and one that I'm very interested in. It says, Mythic Goldfish equals instant prize. Anyone who catches the Mythic Goldfish will receive a bottom feeder pickaxe. Here's what it looks like on screen right now. I'm definitely going to be trying for this, but the thing is, the Mythic Goldfish is extremely rare. I don't think anyone has caught it in North America yet. Last time I checked was about a couple hours ago, and supposedly it's one out of a thousand chances of getting it. I don't know if that's true, though. That's what I heard. But let's get right into the last thing I want to tell you guys about. That's going to be the end date. That is going to be Sunday, this Sunday, November 24th at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. If you guys want to complete this, make sure you do it. Just try it at least once or twice, because everyone who does this is going to get a free spray. And, you know, free sprays, you might as well try it easy as that. But I'm going to end the video here. Drop like on it if you did enjoy comment fishing mythic goldfish down below in the comment section if you made it this far into the video so i know and subscribe to the channel if you are brand new you won't be disappointed i would love to have you on this channel as well don't do anything stupid don't get clickbait and have a great save your day or night and i'll talk to you guys tomorrow with a couple brand new uploads peace out